Pfizer is merging its off-patent drug business with generic drug maker Mylan. Shareholders of Pfizer will own 57% of the business, and the rest of it will be owned by shareholders of Mylan. Shares of both companies, mixed news on this. You can see that Pfizer is trading down a bit, but Mylan is actually trading higher. Joining us with more is Yahoo Finance's Anjali Kemlani with details about the deal. Absolutely. Yes, Adam, as you said, Pfizer is trading down and Mylan is getting a boost from this. Uh, the reason being that in this $20 billion deal or what is expected to be a $20 billion deal, uh, Mylan is uh, you know, currently experiencing some uh, discomfort, if you will. Um, it, it's you know, seen some EpiPen shortages, which have um, uh, resulted in a really open field for comp competitors to come in. Uh, meanwhile, they are also exposed with litigation risk. So they're definitely getting a, a little bit of support from the Pfizer brand right now. Um, it's important to remember also that this is not Pfizer as a whole. It's the off-patent arm of Pfizer, which is Upjohn. And that brand is actually going to stay in existence um, in emerging markets like China. Um, but it's going to be, it's going to have a new name, which they haven't revealed to us just yet. Um, that's going to be at the close of the deal. But it's going to be a very big, low-cost merger. The, the idea being to focus on low-cost drugs. And that's sort of where that's coming from. Uh, Mylan CEO is going to be leaving, and Upjohn CEO is going to be taking over as a result. And as uh, Andy Sewer, who was on set last hour, pointed out to us, uh, Upjohn has just uh, opened a corporate headquarters in Shanghai. It so has. you have to wonder if that's going to draw some regulatory scrutiny. Well, they appeared really confident on the on the phone um, earlier. The the earnings call. Uh, the Pfizer CEO was uh, very confident about the Chinese market and uh, addressed a lot of concerns related to that. In general, they were looking at the combination of the markets that Mylan also serves internationally and looking at a really strong gl uh, global structure. Um, he definitely said earlier that even though uh, the company has taken you know a lot of time to do its due diligence, they believe that together they're poised for a lot of growth. Let's turn to the panel to talk about this. Poised for growth in generics, this is a tight sector yeah. to grow. Good luck. Uh, I, th I think this deal is all about cutting costs. Again, like I mentioned at the top of the show, lost in this press release the fact they want to cut a billion in costs by, I believe, 2023. It's all about cost cutting, uh, canning people where there's uh, duplication and keeping it moving. And I think it's also about the fact that we had Viagra and EpiPen were huge money makers for both Myelin and Pfizer. But now that, you know, they're no longer protected with patents, these companies are trying to find another solution to still, you know, f create this new business for these, uh, to continue those sales. Well, you know, I, we were talking earlier, this is uh, off patent, but not over the counter. The real money is going to be when some of these things move to over the counter, if ever. I mean, Viagra and, and uh, EpiPen, I don't know if that would ever be an over the counter, but does any, when, when someone looks at maybe this kind of deal and then per, perhaps buying into this kind of company, is that something you think about? I would say we're not there yet. And I'll only mention that because if that was the case, you look at Johnson Johnson, a company you've covered very closely, they perhaps would have made a play or considered some type of acquisition in the space, doesn't appear likely yet. Well, and Pfizer does have also a consumer business that it spun off. Um, a couple of years ago as well. So this is sort of the latest in that focus, refocusing on um, its higher growth uh, prescription business. What's also interesting about this all that we talked a little bit about is that uh, Mylan gets a new CEO or whatever it's going to be called gets a new CEO mm -hmm. because yeah. Heather Bresch has not been a very successful CEO, shall we say, for Mylan shareholders. Yeah, so the Upjohn president is now going to be in charge of this new business. We don't know exactly what name it's going to have. Uh, but yes, he will be in charge. And Upjohn has been a huge moneymaker for Pfizer. So when we look at the reaction from the, the investors for both companies, so Mylan, the stock is up about 12%. You look at Pfizer, the stock is in the red. So, uh, you know, down about a little over 1%. Uh, so there's definitely a different reaction between the two companies. But yeah. Upjohn has been doing very well for Pfizer. And they're saying that now that it's going to be spun off, earnings for Pfizer are probably going to take a hit. Right. So a little more classic if Pfizer's the acquirer, although it's not entirely. It seems like Mylan has some more to gain. Yes, definitely. This deal, bottom line.